Nice to see you. And uh, knowing fully that uh, you are like Mongo Park of our days, <laughs> how do you feel? I'm, I'm always elated and, and happy to be alive and doing, doing well. You know, we pray for good health and for long life. You know, that's all that matters really. You know. I've gone to different places that people have never been. And uh, looking at this Silent Hero Award, what will you say about it? I want them to also look at those who have done some unique things. Uh, the unsung heroes, as I said before, they could be drivers, they could be policemen, they could be teachers, they could be uh, cameramen and, and uh, you know actors, whatever it is, you know. Um, and um, I, I am actually encouraged by by this whole idea of silent heroes, and I, I wish them all the best. Yes, that's to the organizers, but to Nigerians that are doing one thing or the other that are not yet known, what encouragement will you give to them? To keep doing well, to keep, keep doing good. One day, somehow, somewhere, somebody will acknowledge you. Somebody will know you. You know, an event like this should grow with time. And especially if there is a sufficient publicity and, uh, you know, some further uh, media, media, push asking asking for nominations from real silent Comrade heroes you you find that most of those who are unknown now will become acknowledged eventually I wanted to find out from you i know you to be honorable member in the past and uh, you being the senate now how do you see the senate it's, it's another it's another step in, in trying to offer my services to Nigerians, you know, not just my constituency, but I work for Nigerians. I am global in my approach to things, you know, so uh, Senate gives me that platform. We were discussing the issue of a minimum wage before the event kick started, so we would like you to give us your candid opinion of. We're, we're not really doing well as a nation in terms of government providing for the people. Governments are meant to provide environment for those who are doing business to do well, or create jobs, you know, where possible. Uh, so, but we must have a livable wage. It is not very good, to put it mildly, when people are paid a wage that is abysmal, to, to, to say the least, a wage where they, they are not able to afford, afford the basic things of life, you know, a, a, a wage where they, they end up doing so many things to survive. In UK or America, when you work as a civil servant, that's all you focus on it. When you work as a hairdresser, you focus on it. When you work as a driver, you focus on it. But here, people do 100 things just to make ends meet. That, and that doesn't do help, help, help them. To, for the, to achieve the best, you know. So, I I think that a minimum wage of hundred thousand is not out of place. You know, there should be the beginning. That kind of amount is what we should be looking at. Not uh, anything less than that is is an insult on the psyche of Nigerians. Our youths are very creative and and very industrious, and uh, actually the use the use of today are far better than the youths of our time because. When I was at university, for example, I just studied law and history. I didn't know how to do anything else, not even to buy my hair. But today, you find you two are barbers who are making clothes, who are making creams, who are making hair. So that all they need is just funding, truly sufficient funding to expand, to set up and expand and help themselves and help others. So we just need that. And um, I'm working on a bill on that, by the way, along with the Minister for Youth Development. Um, we're hoping to, that government will set up a bank to achieve this. Okay.